It is nice and quiet here, but it's not going to stay like that because tonight there should be hundreds of people here, hopefully, because we are organizing a concert in the church next door. It's a fundraising concert to help fixing all the urgent problems in that church. Because it's a little village church, not that many people know about it. So a fundraiser like this can make a huge difference. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this vlog. Are we well prepared for this day? I'm confident we will get there. One of the main things I have to do, as you can see, the facade has been renovated, but I have to put the lanterns on the door. I feel absolutely ready. I have my best trousers, my best shoes. I have this new jumper that Anna bought me, marine themed, so it looks like a handsome sailor from a Rainer Werner Fassbinder movie. Let me see, how does that work, is it? Okay, it's one of the things where really nothing can go wrong. The problem is my drill is, this is too small and the other one is a bit too large, so my dubel are somehow middle-sized. This is called a dubel in German. A lot of people are lazy and they use the back of a tool of the drill to hammer in Duber, but I don't do that. And that's how you can tell the difference in between a professional and a weekend DIY person. I need to drill a bit more. I think that's, that's better. Wish me luck. Not that I would need it. We feel so privileged to be able to welcome Johannes Bramsola again, a friend of mine and outstanding musician, who is also playing a lot of the classical music in our vlogs, like for instance this song, which you hear right now. Today he brought Jadran Dankamp, one of the world's most famous lute players. Hello! The stars are here! <laughs> Without instruments. <laughs> Hello! Hello. So glad to see you here. Ah, oh, it's nice to be here. Amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Look, it's already people are getting prepared. It's like vi people from the village, and they're all helping and putting the candles up. And there's about 100 people on the list, and there's really? certainly a lot of people not on the list. So okay. wow. it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Do so you feel ready, Anna? Not really. Why not? Because I have still two apple cakes, uh, apple pies to tartos. Uh, what is it called? Tarto apple. <laughs> Tarto apple. To make. <laughs> Yes, some tato pom to make and um, yeah, I'm looking for the bottles that we had last year for putting flowers in and I need to get flowers, but I don't know where they are because I think your mum might, might have tidied them away. So we, now really, we really miss Charlie and Max, don't yeah, we? Yeah, oh my goodness. And even Benoit was here last year, so, you know, giving us a hand. He said he would come. Okay. I need to call him. I'm not sure if he's going to really be able to help that much. To give us a hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad joke, Philip. On another side note, Sigi doesn't feel really well today. Actually, for the last two days, he was very sick several times and he doesn't keep his food down. So, perfectly conveniently, we have to go to the veterinarian. These things always happen when you least need them, whether it's with the kids or with the dog. But we will manage it and this will be a good day. A good day. All right, poor Sigi. So 
got back from the veterinarian and everything is fine, he says. Well, we don't know yet, but he seems to be in a good state. And it was really funny. I'm sorry I couldn't film because he was a bit scared and he was on this table, on this lifting table, and he wanted to come towards me. And then he just leaned towards me and whenever the veterinarian came, he just like tried to, tried to hide behind me. It was really, really cute. It seems to be just a stomach um, gastrite. Gastritis? Gastritis. The only thing, he is not allowed to have food for two days and he gets a bit of medication. Are you happy to be home? <coughs> Piggy, where's Anna? Where's Anna? Where's Anna? I think that Anna is stealing branches from my favorite tree. I told her she's not allowed to, but she still does it. Here she is. What are you doing, Anna? Um, I'm just taking some of the branches from the Judas tree for the flowers. Did you have a discussion about taking branches of the Judas tree for the flowers? Yeah, it, you said it needed pruning. I'm sure you said that. So I'm just pruning it. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to cut down half the tree. <laughs> okay. Okay. And because we're here, I can as well show you some other trees that we planted and see how they evolved. Look, these are the birch trees and they have nice leaves now. And there's a lot of, yeah, weeds, but also my corners, so we need to work on these. The prunus. The beautiful red bark, the magnolia tree in leaves again, old magnolia tree, and my new favorite tree, Asa griseum. Everything is incredible on that tree. The leaves, the bark. One more thing. It's the wild geranium. But look here. Look at this, it's a rhododendron flowering. It's such a fantastic time of the year, but I'm getting distracted. I need to get back and try to organize everything for this evening. One last thing, the aces. Can you hear the birds? One last tree, one last tree, my favorite, my all time favorite. Corners Galaxy. And the first uranium. Don't you think Ziggy's feeling pretty good for a sick dog? I don't know if you can hear it, but there is beautiful music in our blue salon. You guys are practicing. Have you seen Jordan's instrument? Do you know this one? He's very happy. What is it, Lily? <coughs> a guitar. Yeah, exactly. It is a lot like a guitar, but with too many strings. Yeah. So each string is double, right? Almost all of them. Yes, all but the top two. Yeah. All there. Beautifully in tune. <laughs> <laughs> there's this Baroque painting where there's a lute player tuning. Mm -hmm. And another like another one there like this like rolling his eyes.
One of the nice side effects of having a YouTube channel is the possibility to share events like this with you guys, no matter where you live in the world. Technology makes it more and more simple to share your work or your projects online. And one of the prime examples for this trend to make things easier and more accessible is our faithful sponsor, Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence, which once again happens to be this week's ad. You really don't need to have any programming skills or even particular computer skills to create a web page with Skillshare. You simply choose from a vast catalog of templates to find the one that fits your needs and represents your taste the best, and then you add some text and images, and you end up with a good-looking page. You can go further and build a big web shop for your e-commerce business, or make an online portfolio for your designs and projects with customizable galleries. And if you want, you can even buy a domain from Squarespace. It's very simple, and there are no hidden fees or price hikes. So if you would like to create or rebuild your own online presence, I highly suggest head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com how to renovate a shuttle to save 10% off your first purchase of a web page or domain. Like the piece we're playing tonight is by the most famous lute player at the time. So it's, we're in Bach's time, middle of the 18th century. Uh, Silvius Leopold Weiss was the uh, like best lute player at that time. And he was um, at the Dresden court, which was also the best orchestra at the time. Um, okay. Every composer wanted to compose for this orchestra, every musician wanted to play there. And uh, Silvius Leopold Weiss, the, the, the like court uh, lut lutenist, he was the highest paid musician of the whole orchestra. Is it still the case? Are you the highest paid no, musician? No, unfortunately. I think there was something wrong though, because it was the, the highest paid musician was the one that nobody could hear. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But I think that was the point, it was so exclusive that if you actually got to hear him, that meant the menu were very, very important. <laughs> Then somebody has to hear that. I mean, the crazy thing is, <laughs> if you look at, I mean, if, if you know how to read music, this is not music. <laughs> like, oh, um, yeah. this is tablature. Oh. Um, so it's a completely different way. I, I can't read it. Um, Yadran can. Okay. And Yadran actually says it's easier to read than normal notation it is, it, somehow. It's, it's just a map of the instrument, of this part of the instrument. Actually, any anybody who plays. Um, who likes to play the guitar a bit would know how to play read tab and it's actually the same system. But you can only read from this instrument, that's the funny thing. So if you played it on any other instrument it would sound it wouldn't sound right. So it's kind okay. of like a code that only works on, on an instrument that's tuned like this. Going into details that nobody really needs, but this is a Baroque lute. And so and the Baroque lute was um, there were loads and loads of different lutes. So the first ones had were actually ouds. They, were, they, they mm -hmm. had four strings, and then they started adding strings during the medieval, yeah, around in the 1400s. And then they gradually added. They had six double strings throughout the Renaissance, and then they, um, in the Baroque, they started like everything. They started adding lots of things, <laughs> details, and so they ended up having, um, yeah, 23 strings. Like I think this is 23. Yeah, there's um, 11 double strings and two. 24 strings. Yeah. How can you even wrap your fingers around that? Uh, well, you need a big hand. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's another reason why kids don't generally dream of playing the lute, I reckon. <laughs> Le coût des travaux pour euh, remettre ça en état. 
The mayor of our village explained how within a few years, a broken heating system caused moisture in the walls, problems with the roof structure and the plaster. There were even trees growing out of the masonry. A lot of this has been repaired last year, thanks to state funding and our online fundraiser where together with you guys we collected over 8,000 euros. This meant a new heating system was installed, a stained glass window repaired and the bell tower reinforced. There's still important work to do on the masonry and the roof. Every small donation counts and if somebody would like to support this project and help save this incredible building for generations to come, please have a look at the link in the description of this video. Merci d'être venu si nombreux, ça, ça nous fait énormément de plaisir de vous voir tous ici. Le plus grand merci évidemment à nos deux musiciens que j'invite d'ailleurs euh, sur scène. Johannes Pram Soler et Yadran Duncan, tous les deux, et ce n'est pas une exagération, font partie des meilleurs musiciens baroques au monde. Et c'est un énorme plaisir et honneur de les avoir ici dans notre petite église. Et voilà, euh, c'est tout. Bon concert.